What's so, up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Mega Man X4. Today, we infiltrate the final weapon. Sounds pretty final. So, we wanna... we can hit this thing from down here. Which is good, because we want to mine the giant laser beams. I like being able to abuse the distance of that last attack. It's fun. Fortunately, you can't do that down here. But you can, of course, abuse the Coenzon. You can always abuse the Coenzon. Who are we facing here? Iris? What is she doing here? What's that big purple thing? Goodbye, Zero. And now she has a giant purple thing and it transforms her into a big robot. Okay then. Okay, I'll do it. This fight is very hard. If she... All the right armor is going to do is walk into you, but if it hits you, it does a ton of damage. And I'm doing very badly so far. Basically, the goal of this fight is to kill the purple crystal. So, hit the crystal, hit Iris to keep her back, and try and take a second before you uh, jump up on the wall to dodge the ground laser, because there is a second laser from the crystal. I probably could have gotten her that time if I'd used the, my sub-tanks, but that was a really bad example. And I got nine lives, so I might as well use them. Okay, so... We start off... Just... Stay with me, brother. Yes, yes. Just attack Iris to knock her back. When the thing comes out, I like to use the Reun Chain and then uh, use a Kuenzon on the way down uh, and point myself in the opposite direction. If you time it right, you should be able to avoid the laser altogether. I did not time it right. Use the Raku Hau Ha to avoid damage for a couple seconds. Come on! There we go, we got it. That fight can be so hard. Iris does a ton of damage if she runs into you, and of course you have to kind of like jump over her to get at the crystal, it's a pain in the butt. Iris. Iris. Good job, dude. You killed her. Hang in there, Iris. Please, stay away from Repliforce. Let's live together in a world where only Reploids exist. Huh? Iris, there's no world just for Reploid. It's only a fantasy. Yes, I know. But I wanted to believe it. I wanted to live in a world where only Reploids exist with you. Okay Iris. then. So, contrived love story. Check. Iris! 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 If I shake her hard enough, she'll wake Iris. up. Iris! Iris! Ah! No, this isn't happening! There's no reason for me to go on. What? What am I fighting for? 
fighting to save the freaking world. But we'll just go to the next stage. Okay. So, drop down on this dude. There's another one down here too, so be careful about that. Probably want to slide down the wall kind of sneaky-like. And now here, there's actually two paths. You can go... Let me use a save state real quick. You can go this way. Or you can go... Not that way. Well, that way, but not that way. Wow, okay then. That was pretty terrible. Or you can go down this way. They both lead to the same place. But I want to go this way, mostly because I want to take a different route when uh, I come here with X, and as you can probably imagine, it's not easy jumping over these spikes as X. Which I imagine is the main reason they even added a second path in there to begin with. Mind the laser. I'm doing pretty terribly, aren't I? Wow. I can't say I've ever done that badly before. Let's try that one again. Not the best start. a little better. Just throw yourself at the enemies, it'll die eventually. Hopefully before you do. Get off the spikes before I you stop flashing. Yay for full health! Okay, and we're through the area. This drops down, and this is just where the other path comes out. So what do we got over here? Oh, it's the big dude. General. My fate is sealed. I have no choice. Alrighty then. This is an interesting fight, because he's just really, really freaking big. And you have to hit his head, and if you touch his body, he does like a bajillion damage. So when he floats at you, just jump off the wall, and you can usually hit him with the Kuenzon on the way down. But honestly, it's more important that you don't take damage than it is that you do damage to him. So try not to cut it too close. Okay, uh, hopefully he will start doing something else eventually. Okay, when he floats by in the middle of the screen there, he will do that crush thing when he... if you f dash underneath him. There, I don't know of any good way to hit him when he is floating around the middle, unfortunately. Okay, he shoots his fists at you, you want to jump on top of them. Dodge little blue things. Hit him once, and fall down. Jump up again. Usually I can fall down without getting hit, but not this time apparently. This is really kind of a battle of attrition. It's more important to survive than it is to do damage. I mean, there's a, there's a, a bit of leeway if you're if uh, you got sub tanks, so uh, don't worry too much about it. But I mean, if you use your sub tanks against Iris or something, then obviously you want to worry about not taking damage. Now, 
Okay, so here he's charging up a little laser. You just jump over it. Oh, he's doing it again. You can tell it because he kind of floats down and puts his feet under the ground, and he makes a little, like, charging noise. Jump over that. That was pretty fail. I jumped preemptively. Okay, I'm gonna use a sub tank. He's in the yellow. Lasers. Jump. Lasers. Jump. Okay, jump on his hands. Oh, actually. Hmm. What if I just Raku Hau Ha the second one? That kind of works. Okay, that's how you're supposed to do it. I was jumping too far when I tried to hit him. Lasers! There's probably a way to hit him when he does the lasers. Yeah, like that. Except now I'm standing on top of him while he's exploding. Which is kind of awkward. was a pretty insufficient explosion. Okay, so someone hijacked his laser. But who cares about the laser? Let's take some time to fill back up our sub-tanks in our lives. And I will meet you again next time on Let's Play Mega Man X4.